Hello students, today we are going to discuss the topic of normalization which is very essential topic in database management system. So normalization basically belongs to database management system and why we are going to use normalization this is a very big notation ki how we are, why we use normalization. So in normalization before normalization we have to we, we know that that there was a concept of database management system and there was a concept of file management system. When file management system was implemented all the files were arranged in a sequence and the files were in sequential in nature. So whatever data you are going to store that can be stored in somewhere in the disk and the information is something in sequential in order and all the informations were stored in a sequence like some attributes and some properties related to the some information is stored in the disk. What was the problem behind this? That we have a linear search time, linear search time associated with this. Whenever we are going to use file management system, to avoid, the, to avoid this flaw, we have something which was designed like a database management system in which every information is stored in separate tables. So here comes the normalization. And why normalization is used? Because we wanted efficient searching, efficient searching, immediate searching associated with the data. And one more thing was there in the file management system that it was redundant in nature redundant in nature. It means all the information which was stored in file management system may be redundant because there may be separate locations of the files where you are going to info store the same information repeatedly. So avoid the redundancy. Again, we have a big problem that is known as redundancy and we have to reduce the searching time which was linear in file management system. So what we are going to use? We are going to use the concept of normalization. Why we use normalization? Because we have a big problem related to the search and related to the redundancy. So here, as in the screen, you have seen that, that whenever we have a schema refinement or design issue related to the database, we are going to remove these problems. First one is redundancy. This is a big issue related to the database management system. Whenever we have to design some table or some schema, then we are going to reduce this redundancy. We have to eliminate redundancy. And for elimination, we have a concept that is known as normalization. So in normalization, what actually we are going to do? The primary goal is to reduce the redundancy or eliminate the redundancy. And when redundancy is eliminated, then table becomes in a normalized format where your data is appears only at one time and there is a no redundancy. More issues related with the tables are whenever if you are storing the data in a redundant format and if you are going to perform some insertion or deletion or updation to a particular cell, let us take this example. If two is appeared two times in the table and if you wanted to delete this and by selecting this attribute two, if you are going to delete it by writing some command delete or something or drop the whole cell is affected by this and for removal of this we are going to separate the table into two separate tables where a particular attribute which is generating the anomaly that should be separated from its parent table and two separate tables should be formed. So in normalization what we are going to do is that we are going to design a table or we are going to learn the concept of design of the table to reduce the redundancy to removal of insertion anomaly to removal of updation anomaly and for the removal of deletion anomaly these are associated with the always remember this is not a particular concept where we are going to learn some aerospace science this is particularly a design issue we are going to design a table in such a format that these, uh, these are alarm anomalies should not be there. So this is the basic fact. 
The secondary thing, whenever we are going to implement in the table, that is whenever we have to remove the redundancy, then whenever we have to remove the redundancy, then there is a concept of key or functional dependency. Functional dependency. What is functional dependency? It is a key implementation of key implementation of key implementation of key implementation in a particular table. So whenever you are going to use some key, the data is not repeated and by which we are going to remove the redundancy. For example, in this table, this is an employee table, where employee number is 1, 2, 3, 4, and the data associated with the grade pays are 9,000 and 9,000. If we wanted to update this 9,000 information by salary itself, then there may be cause of some updation anomaly and some separate salary holder which has the same grade that may be updated in the separate value. So there are many cases where you are going to get anomalies. Here the key implementation is the basic thing. In the normalization we are going to know it as a functional dependency. So what is functional dependency? If in a, tab in a given table, if you are writing, if you are writing some attribute or you are inputting some attribute, so let us consider this is a serial number, this is the name, this is the address, and if you are going to write it in format, you are going to fill the values, then every time, if I am going to consider the table value x1, x2, and x3, if this attribute is going to repeat somewhere in the table, that should also contain the same value of the cell which is associated with it. So if, for example, functional dependency, if x1 is there and it, it is associated with the y1, and again in the table it is repeating itself as a x1, then there should be a relationship of y1 always present with it. If y1 is not there, it means x1 is not a, is going to identify uniquely y1, then that is a flaw in the functional dependency. So functional dependency is a concept of key implementation in the table. So this is a functional dependency. Functional dependency is the generalization of the concept of a key. Whatever I have told you, that is a particular key implementation of key implementation which is named as a functional dependency in case of normalization. Now we are again going to move forward and we are going to check what kind of functional dependencies are there. There are two kinds of functional dependencies. One is trivial, trivial functional dependency and second one is non-trivial functional dependency. What actually is trivial functional dependency? If some so before learning this, we have to know what is a functional dependency. Functional dependency is implementation of key, which is related to a non-key or key. So this is the basic concept of functional dependency. Whenever we are going to implement some key, which has a relation with the key or non-key or uh, uh, combination of keys and non-keys, here you can also like, uh, write candidate key or super key or a primary key, you can write it. So the key can have multiple attributes of a table. So here, trivial functional dependency, a functional dependency extends to y is said to be a trivial if y is a subset of x. It means you are going to represent a format of, let us consider a table where we have A and B, this kind of table we have, okay? So we have a table or a relation in which we have A as attribute, V as attribute, C as attribute and D as attribute. Let us take this table and we have made A and B as a key. So A, B is a key which can be related to any non-key or key values and if we are relating it to B, we are finding the unique value of B by using AB, then this is a 
form of trivial functional dependency because v is a part of the key. So this is the basic concept of trivial functional dependency. In the non-trivial functional dependency, none part of the key, none part of the key is there in the non-key part or key part which is here. So whenever we have to identify any non-trivial functional dependency, it can be written in the format of AB tends to D or AB tends to C, which is opposite of trivial functional dependency. That is non-trivial functional dependency. Okay, thank you.